So we're going to do a mock draft. Now, we're going to take it a little slower. So this is a Green Bay Packers mock draft where we're going to try to analyze, should we trade up to maybe uh, 12, 13, 11, right before the Vikings who are at 14 because they're not trading with us, or maybe <laughs> 17, 18, 19, and get before the Bears um, and try to see if there's any value there. If not, and we get to our pick, we could potentially trade down if the board's right and there's a few guys that we like and we think would fit well are still there and we could reasonably get them at, say, 35, 36. And there's a chance so, we just stay right at 29. Yep. Or, you know, there is if, a chance. So if there's only a couple of guys when we get to 29 that we want, we'll just take one of them. So this is how we have it set up. Speed's going to be slow, less care for positional value, a little less random, more for draft needs, and more public boards. So we are going to start this draft now. We are the Packers, of course. So I'm thinking we're going to go till pick. We're going to go to pick five, sim it till there, and then just see what's going on. So Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, Fields, Fields, probably Zach Wilson here. All right, Falcons, they go Smith. They went Smith. Bengals go Jamar Chase. They went okay. Chase. So, for us, when we we want a receiver, we maybe want Waddle or one of the tackles. So, having Sewell and Slater still available is good. Pitts is still on the board. Waddle's still there. But for receivers, this is not looking good. Two are already gone in the top five. Yeah, um, only one worth it now is Waddle to trade up for. Yeah, and I think me and you are – we're anticipating if we were to trade up, it would be in this range. Uh, yeah, Giants to Chargers. Giants to Chargers. We're not trading with the Vikings. We can maybe go Patriots, but they need a receiver, so we kind of have to piggy – we got to, you know, jump them. Mm -hmm. And the Cardinals could take a receiver too, so we don't want to, you know, risk it too much. But we can yeah. go a couple more picks. We'll go to pick eight. Okay. So six, they can go anywhere. They go Sewell they, at six. That's not a surprise. Lions go Waddle. Okay. Panthers go Trevor. They, or, sorry, Trey Trey Lance. Lance. they go Trey Lance. So all the receivers are gone at seven. Now, I don't think this will actually happen, but it would be crazy if it did. Pitts is available. So, yeah, so – Later is available right now. Mac Jones is available. Maybe we trade up for a quarterback. Who knows? Um, but I'm thinking we go to pick <clears throat> about 12, 11, 12. And if there go is. Go through tackle, 9 and 10. Go through 9 and 10. Let's see what happens. So um, Caleb Farley, cornerback, okay. Virginia Tech. So the there Cardinals, goes Slater. So Kyle there goes Pitt, Slater. And the three big receivers in Sewell are gone. So I think at this point, really, we shouldn't really we go to 17 or 18 and go for the linebacker, Jeremiah. Yeah. So the way we see it is there's not a guy that would make a huge, huge impact and is worth trading up this much to get now. Now, there we didn't really think there would be. We, we didn't think those guys would get down here, but we just wanted to see if they would slide. Yeah, like right now, I think the top guys available on PFF's rating would be Micah Parsons, uh, Christian Barmore, uh, a couple of the cornerbacks. But we're going to hold off until about um, 17, 18. Totally. Yeah, about the range. And we're going to see if the linebacker out of Notre Dame, Jeremiah Osukoromoa, is there. So Parsons yep, is gone. Darius is gone. Sertain is gone. Okay. Mac Jones. And we're going to stop after this. All right. So Gregory Rosseo went to the Cardinals. So now what Nick and I are thinking here is the football team – is probably going to take a linebacker. So we need to jump them if we want Owosu Koromoa. Now, 
He is a good coverage linebacker, super rangy, fast, out of Notre Dame. Look him up if you haven't. He's kind of a converted safety, I believe. Um, and so he would be the coverage guy for our defense. Mm -hmm. So now what we should trade, Nick, do you have any thoughts? So obviously we won't pick 17. Yeah, we don't want to risk it. We're going to have to trade pick 29. We want Jeremiah Owosu koromoa So, Nick, what would you be comfortable with trading to move up 12 spots? I think I'd be comfortable, and I also think this is fair. I think we should give them pick 92, which is our third-round pick, okay. and one of our fourth-rounders. So either 135 or 142. Probably 135. Those, yeah, give them the closer one. And I think that's fair. I think that's a fair deal. We're we're moving up twelve spots, which hmm. is significant at this point in the draft. We might have to trade more, to be honest with you. I don't know if they would take that. Only a okay. third and a fourth to move up twelve. I think if we threw in a future um, second or third, probably would get it done. We well, we should try. I I think we should try this first, but then we could throw in a future. All right, we're just gonna try this. We're, you know, we're not going to force the trade. No, no. Don't force we're going to offer this trade and see if they take it. Okay, so they actually okay. accepted that. Yeah, I thought that was fair. I don't know if that is the most realistic thing. I don't think they would take that in real life. Moving up 12 spots and only trading a third and a fourth is highway robbery. But <laughs> let's just assume we trade a future second or third, and that evens it out. It would not affect this draft, but... Um, we're still going to get our guy. So here's some of the guys. Christian Barmore would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Trayvon Morig, Shad Bateman, J.C. Horn, and the guy who we want to take, Jeremiah owosu Koromo. We're going to show more on him. Versatile, instinctive, explosive, modern linebacker, really good coverage. He um, just fits in with the Packers defense. He really does. And so here's the thing. The the Browns, Washington, and Dolphins. So these teams are all ahead of us. Mm -hmm. so we, yeah, had we had to, to make trade. It. We had to Washington trade up. Pick. I mean, Washington and Dolphins are next too. Yeah. So that was our main logic behind trading up. Um, And, you know, it says it's the second biggest need for us. We would say otherwise, but... Yeah, we don't no. think wide receiver should go in the first round unless it was one of those three big guys. At one the of the game. three special ones, yeah. We'll look so, for a wide receiver in the second for sure, though. Yeah, we'll definitely look out for that. So we're taking a Wosu Koromoa, and we're going to let it go a little slowly. Uh, I might speed it up a little bit, just a tad. All right. So it's Simmons. So we got to wait till the second round. Jalen Phillips. So we're hoping less receivers go. Well, that's not good. Kadarius Tony's gone. So what we did, just to sum it up, basically, is we went and we think Owosu Koromoa is really good value for the end of the teens. So we traded, we leapfrogged the football team because we think they're going to trade for him. Potentially the Dolphins too. They kind of have a hole there. They let go of Van Noy, although their defense is great. And Flores is, you know, he's going to get the best out of his players. We believe it is wise to uh, actually trade up. Now we're going to speed this up a little more. Um, a lot of so, people yeah. that we were talking about trading down for, if you go check out that, was um, just taken around 35 to 37. We were talking about Tevin Jenkins and Asante Samuel Jr. They're taking back-to-back. -back. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys that, you know, Packers might be looking at, Walker Little, tacker, Tackle. Um, I think we'll be able to get um, – was – what's his face? Was, was Terrence Marshall taken? I believe he was taken. I would be okay. – I would be – shocked if he was still here um but there's still some good dudes flying off the board yeah, even the right north carolina now. wide receiver brown richie grant aaron robinson okay i actually like some of the guys here so mm -hmm. 
I don't know how realistic it is that Diami Brown will be here in the second. This late into the second, I think he will. But Johnny, there's a lot of wide receivers here, and people don't. Not everyone needs a wide receiver. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he has skills there, but like a lot of people already took wide. Like how many wide receivers went before him? Seven. At, at least, least, yeah. At, at least, least yeah. seven. And people aren't going to take so, two wide receivers, so I'm not mm-hmm. too surprised. So, I'm thinking Diami Brown here. Now, here's yeah. some other dude, Davis. We don't need a linebacker. You just got a linebacker. Um, Molden, you know, there's some good safeties and D-backs, some linemen. We're thinking Brown. We we gave some love to the defense. We did. Now we're going to speed this up a little bit. Yeah, speed it up now. Just go to our next picks. <laughs> yep, so we're we're speeding through it. Um, so we took we got our wide receiver, a weapon for Rodgers. Big deal. And we got the Packers fans. We got yep. rid of our third rounder, so we'll have to wait till the fourth. Yes. So we are going to the fourth round, our second pick in the fourth round. Still some guys available. So he was here last time. Looks like pretty good value right there, but we already got a linebacker. I want to see what corners are available and tackles, I guess. So we're going to look for cornerback. And we'll look for tackle because it's earlier. Mm-hmm. So here's a few guys. Brady Christensen, BYU, Stone, or I don't know how to pronounce it, Robert Hainsey. We can look at some cornerbacks now. If there's any guys that we like. I don't mind the tackle selection, to be honest. There's a few good guys. Um, we're looking at corners and tackles, actually. Uh, I like a tackle right now. I think the corners we can get later. Mm-hmm. Like, But Christensen's not going to be there next round. So he is a little older. Broke the PFF record. So that's not bad. He protected Zach Wilson. Usually the BYU uh, players are a little older. <laughs> yeah. Um, we can look at him. Six foot eight, 300 pounds. He allowed 15 <laughs> pressures. I say we get this guy, Stone. Um, Forsyth. Florida. Forsyth. Yes. So I'm saying Stone Forsyth. I mean, yeah, he's a that's man. a big boy. <laughs> he's a mammoth. I'm concerned about how he would move in our system with, you know, a zone blocking scheme if he's athletic enough to do that. But he would be a beast in the yeah. past game. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, he's 6'8", 300 pounds. I'd imagine the dude has to have long arms if he's six foot eight. Um, so we're back to our other pick, or our next pick. Sorry. Let's look at and corners I'm kind of liking how the board's falling. So we've taken, we've taken a receiver, a linebacker, a linebacker. and attacker. Mm-hmm. Now I'd say cornerback or D line here. I'd agree. I, I, like, I think corner is very important. I'm thinking the gopher. He's six foot three. Big ten. Big 10, well, you know like it. That's 6 3. I really like that. Interesting. All right, we're going with we're going with St. Juice. So now I honestly, Nick, the same. We don't know too much about him. It's more uh position and mm-hmm. um fit at this point. So now here's here's some interesting options. Um uh we are in round five. Now I think this would be the pick here, Khalil Herbert. Really good receiving back. He's a little small. Um, breaks a lot of tackles, as you can see. Yeah, but and like I said, just he's a, a good a little more. Back. A little more is like right now. So we lost Jamal Williams, obviously, and we haven't really got anyone free agency. So right now we have Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon, which is a really solid one-two punch. It really is. But if it's one of them great. was to go down, we got nothing. And we need to get something. So I think that's a good pick to just be that third. He'll kind of be like the A.J. Dillon last year, you know? Come in on. That was a good round to get it. Yeah, fifth round, you know, if you can get any value there, and I think Herbert's pretty solid. He'd offer something in the pass game, which Dillon cannot really do no, too much, can. maybe besides Dillon's the can. screen. Oh, is that a boiler on top? There is a boiler. We don't need a linebacker, though. Um, I'm thinking corner here wouldn't be bad. Or I'm thinking receiver. corner or another wide receiver. Corner or another receiver. 
Interesting. So, Austin Watkins, he's the top-rated receiver. Jalen Moore. It's looking like corner is not the move this round. It looks like we get to get him. Jonathan next round. Adams is an interesting name. I've heard a little bit about him. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if he'd be here. Eh, it looks like that's what his ADP is. I would say Jonathan Adams Jr. Okay, um, I don't know much about him, but I do like getting another wide receiver. Yeah. I'm with you on that. So we're going another receiver. And then here's another pick. We could go we could go line. I wouldn't be mad with safety at, in this round. Um, you know, just yeah, maybe, we, ha we have a good one-two safety, obviously. But once again, well, we use a third safety we need, a lot. We need so. a guy who can come in there. Yep, we do use that. So I think that from Auburn, the guy from Auburn could be the move. Yep. You mean Sherwood? I like mm -hmm. it. Mr. Sherwood, welcome to the Packers organization. So now that's our sixth round. Um, we're going into the seventh round here. Again, we do not know too many of these guys or names, but we're drafting more for positional value and what we believe are needs. Now, we haven't taken an interior D line or an edge, so I'm thinking we got to go there. It's been neglected okay. a little bit. I'd be pushing a more interior D line right now. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm thinking Austin um, out of Oregon's a solid, solid pick. You're just can you sort by the D lineman real quick? Just so yep. Oh, so we'll go right there. So there's only two All guys right. actually. Okay. So options yeah. are limited. We're going with the Oregon man. And now we got our draft grade. All right. So here's and what we got the graded on. So we got a C minus for that trade, but honestly, I think we robbed them. I think, I think that's, what they that's was. a great trade for us. That would never happen in real life. Just, you know, just want to throw yeah, that we're, out We're pretending here. we threw in one more pick, future pick. Yeah, future year. second at the minimum. Now, so they're grading a Wusu Koromoa. As an A, and I agree. Really? He would be awesome. He's gonna. He looks like a stud. He might even be the. I think he's rated the second best linebacker in this draft. Mm -hmm. Next, Dayami right? Brown, A minus. I agree with that. I don't think he'll be there at the end of the second. But if he were, he would be awesome. Super explosive, vertical threat. Um, played at North Carolina with that star-studded offense, and you know he's taken over games before. With his vertical abilities, he has got a quick first step. He only runs a few routes, but he runs them really well. And He's that's another just the weapon for Aaron Rodgers. That's the key. The key is that he gives Aaron Rodgers, hopefully, another guy that Aaron Rodgers has full confidence in. Because that's very exactly. important. Stone, 6'8 tackle. He got a C. Plus. All right. I think Not all tackles are C. Plus. Not too worried about that. The Minnesota Corner St. Juiced, A minus, we'll take it. Pretty good for mm -hmm. a fourth or fifth. Ah, that's a fifth rounder. That's a fifth if rounder. If we didn't re sign King, we obviously would have gone for a corner much earlier, like Greg Newsom or Asante Samuel Jr. right away. But since we re signed King, we mm -hmm. just need a guy who will develop over the next couple of years, maybe come in, maybe he'll work out. Like that's great value right there. Yep. And he's six foot three, which is pretty cool. Khalil mm -hmm. Herbert, C, plus, Adams Jr., A minus. I don't even know how to grade these late picks. It makes no I think sense. They're just making stuff up. They're just throwing random <laughs> random grades out there, but that doesn't matter.